Hey there everybody, Anthony Massalone here again. I'm actually driving right now to New York City, but I was inspired to make this video, kind of stuck in traffic right now, but I got a request on how to work with an AliExpress vendor after you get an order placed on your Shopify store. So pretty much bridging the gap and how to put in your order with your vendor. So I'm gonna be showing you that in a minute. We're gonna go over the shoulder in a little bit, but I'm gonna get back to you guys in one minute. Right now, I'm trying to get over the George Washington Bridge with a ton of traffic. So I'll get back to you when I get to my hotel room. Hey guys, finally got to my hotel room. Um, now, I just wanna thank you guys for all the great feedback that you've been giving me. Um, with that being said, if you guys have any other video suggestions, let me know, I'll totally look into it. And now we're about to get into how to work with your AliExpress vendor after you get an order within your Shopify store to make sure that they fulfill it properly. All right, so we are in AliExpress right now, and I'm gonna give you just a bracelet for example's sake. This is not one that I'm personally using, um, but this is exactly how we're gonna go about fulfilling a single or small order. And now this is gonna be very different opposed to when you get a bulk order, because when you get a bulk order, you're gonna be sending your vendor a CSV or an Excel uh, spreadsheet with all of your customer's information, which you're gonna export through Shopify. So here, we're gonna be getting our customer's information from Shopify under our orders tab and going into the customer information and order information and get their shipping address and name. And we're gonna put that to the side and we're gonna use it to fulfill the single order or small order. So let's say at the end of the day, you have five orders and you wanna go onto AliExpress and fulfill them. This is how we're gonna do it. So let's say this is our bracelet. First things first, we always wanna double check that we are ordering from the right vendor, the one that we have been working with, the one that we have bookmarked. So I say it's a very, very good idea to have all of your products bookmarked so that you don't go to the wrong vendor by mistake. A lot of items on AliExpress do look very similar, so you don't want to rush through that and miss that. Second most important thing is the fact that we have to make sure we're choosing the right variation because we do not want to have our customer wait a whole nother shipping period for a variation of their product because they got the incorrect one. So let's say this is the one that was ordered. We're going to go add to cart. And then we're going to view our shopping cart. Let's say that's our only order. And this is how it's all going to look. And we're going to go to buy from the seller. Now this is a previous just example. This is not someone's real information, just so you know. And now we're going to go to edit. So this is where you're going to put in all of your customer's information. So let's say Mr. Made Up Josh Thomas here, who I just did an example before when I was doing a test run here. And you put in street address, the city, postal code, state, and whatnot. And then what I do for the telephone number, if they do not provide their own, is that I provide my business's uh, telephone number. And then I just go to save and ship to this address. And now we're gonna make sure that we go to ePacket. Make sure you choose ePacket for your shipping method. It's the most cost friendly and the most time friendly because we're not gonna pay $23 for DHL shipping. And this is the closest time frame, most reasonable time frame that we're gonna get. And then the very, very biggest thing that I cannot emphasize enough on is leaving a message to your seller. So we're gonna have to do something to get their attention to make sure they do not miss out on this. So let's put a few asterisks here and we're gonna say, do not include invoice price information in package. Because this is super key because you do not want your consumer seeing that you spent $2 or $3 on this bracelet that they may have spent upwards of $20 to $30 on, for example. Because they're gonna feel like they just got you know, ripped off, but simply enough, that's business. Because we are the middleman providing this product and putting it out to the people and getting it from wholesalers. So that's where we make our money. Therefore, we cannot be showing people that we pay $2 for it because I'm, I don't know about you, but if I paid $50 for something that somebody else paid $2 for, I'd be pretty upset about it. So we're gonna go to our checkout here, and then this is where you're just gonna enter your credit card, debit card information, and then you're going to check out and your order is gonna be placed and then they're gonna be following up with an email saying that your order has been placed and provide uh, shipping information. And then after that, you're gonna to wanna to upload your tracking information to Shopify for your customer, maybe email them personally so that they have a sense of comfort and know that their product is on the way. So this is something very important that you cannot miss out on when you're doing your single orders 
and general drop shipping orders for Shopify and this is exactly how you do it now I want you guys to subscribe and also add me on Instagram and snapchat if you have any questions that's the best way to contact me you could look above and you'll see exactly where you could follow me and now this is a very good way to contact me quickly and get a fast response so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time